This afternoon, we got a letter from Jeff Garenther. He's a lawyer with Venable LLP, a big law firm here in D.C. The letter demands that this show, quote, immediately cease and desist disseminating false and misleading reports about Mr. Podesta and the Podesta Group. It demands we retract and delete all our prior reporting on the Podesta Group and warns that if we don't do this, quote, Mr. Podesta may pursue legal action, including for damages, in order to fully protect his rights. The letter doesn't stop there, though. It also warns us that we will face legal action under the Copyright Act merely for quoting from this letter publicly, as we just did. The most amusing line, though, is this one, quote, Paul Manafort did not work with the Podesta Group in its representation of the European Center for a Modern Ukraine. That's what the lawyer's letters told us. Apparently, that lawyer hasn't read the Manafort indictment yet. In paragraph 22 of that indictment, we read this, quote, at the direction of Manafort and Gates, companies A and B engaged in extensive lobbying on Ukraine. The indictment also says that the Podesta Group and Mercury were selected personally by Paul Manafort to lobby on behalf of Ukrainian interests. So if John Podesta's legal team has a complaint, it's not with us, it's with the Department of Justice and the Mueller investigation. But maybe we're being too literal about this, probably so. Podesta's lawyer wasn't trying to inform us of anything, but to threaten us to shut down our reporting on his client. One lawyer we talked to earlier today said the Podesta people have used this tactic with others before. It's common. It's an effort to use fear to control press coverage. We're not intimidated. We have ample evidence from Mueller's indictment a number of confidential sources to paint a pretty clear picture of exactly what the Podesta group was doing for years here in Washington. We'll let the facts speak for themselves. And we're confident the Mueller investigation will be revealing a lot more about Tony Podesta's lobbying practices in the near future. In the meantime, if you're looking for a summary of all of this, here's the one sentence cliff note to the whole affair. The chairman of one major presidential campaign colluded with the brother of the chairman of the other major presidential campaign to enrich themselves by secretly advancing the interests of a foreign adversary. That happened. That's the swamp they told you needed to be drained.